the last 15 years is called REXIS, Recommender Systems. How do we know what information to recommend to us uh, in a social feed? How do you know what ad to recommend to somebody, uh, what book to recommend, what movie to recommend? The world is, the Internet is so gigantic without a recommender system that a little tiny phone of us will have no chance of ever seeing the right information. That REXIS is the engine of the Internet today. That's going generative AI. It used to be running on CPUs, now it runs on GPUs. Which then says the third thing, when if you just look at those two applications, many of the Internet companies can build enormous number of GPU supercomputers just doing that. Of course, then it creates this the third opportunity on top of it, which is agentic AI. This is Grok, and this is OpenAI, this is Anthropic, you know, this is Gemini. Agentic AI sits on top of that. But don't, you know, don't forget to think about what is happening above, underneath, what everybody sees as AI today, there's a whole movement of computing from general purpose computing to accelerated computing. And that, if you just, if you take that into consideration, you'll come to the conclusion that in fact, what is left over to fuel that revolutionary agentic AI is not only substantially less than you thought and all of it justified.